Now this may not sound like a good idea, but you may have a need of killing a thread in SQL Server. Now remember, all the workloads that you're running, a simple select statement or your complicated stored procedures, behind the scenes there is at least one or more threads that's doing the job. And you may have a need to kill that thread. Now what are those scenarios? Let's say you have a throwaway workload, a throwaway query, or might be a user process that is consuming a lot of system resources and it's making the system unstable. Or you might have a user process that is blocking other transactions. It's blocking other users and you may have a requirement to go and kill it. Now these are common scenarios that we come across on production boxes where then we go and take action, which is kill that thread. Now it's not a good thing to do. But of course, these are some of the reasons why that statement is there inside SQL Server. Now, you also need to know that when you go and kill a thread, not only does the thread terminate, uh, it will also terminate the connection. And along with that, what SQL Server also has to do is roll back the process, which is all the work that was done by that thread needs to be undone. And that might take quite a while. So it might take a few seconds, minutes, hours. I have seen sometimes it runs into days. Yes, we have seen that. So how can we go about doing things? Let's just give this a try. So I'm going to write a simple while loop, an infinite loop, while one equals to one. And let's say select, and I'm using the get date function to just put the date. And I'll put a delay so that it just does not hog too much of system resources. So I'm going to put a delay of two seconds here. And let's go and execute this and you can see the output is coming in. Now let's assume that this is a throwaway workload and it's just con consuming a lot of system resources and I have a need to go and kill it. What I will do is jump over to another query window and this tiny little laptop is already low on resources. So it's just taking a second here. Okay, so I'm in another query window and the SPID, note this SPID, SPID as we say, is 81. So it's right up here, 81. And this is the one that I'm going to kill. The statement is very straightforward. Let's zoom in a bit. And I'm going to type kill 87. Now, we talked about this rollback thing and when you are killing a process, you may also want to kind of figure out how much percentage of that rollback is complete and the estimation as to how much more time will SQL Server take to kind of complete the rollback process. So what you could do is you can also type in what happened there. Okay. You can also say kill 87 with status only a little misleading here. Kill 87 with status only does not really kill the thread, but it just reports as to how much percent is complete and the estimated time left. Okay, so kill 87 with status only is not really killing. The first statement, kill 87, will kill it. What did I do? I'm typing 87. It's actually 81. So let's just go and fix that. Okay, only if this allows me to do it. Okay, go. Yeah, 81 there. And the next one. Okay, let's go and execute this. Notice the output there. So it says speed 81 transaction rollback in progress and it says estimated rollback completion 0% estimated time remaining 0 seconds. Now this is all 0 here because you know it that the other thread that 81 is just a select statement. So it's not really generating any log records. Had that been an update statement or an insert statement inside a transaction, probably you could see some numbers up there. Now, what really happened? Let's jump over to 81 out there. And the first thing that you will notice is, of course, the execution is done in sense the execution has been immediately stopped, but also the connection gets terminated. So you're kind of talking about two activities here, which is one is stopping whatever was going on and then of course terminating the user connection. Well, this was a quick demo of using the kill statement inside SQL Server. Use it with caution, with care. Happy SQL. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com 
There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.